In this module, we'll be taking a look at how to work with the OpenAir REST API. Now, in the last module, you created a template, you started modeling clinical content using OpenAir. Now, your question might be, what do I actually do with this template? And your answer will be in this module. And that is, you will be posting it to an OpenAir server or an OpenAir clinical data repository. And you'll be doing a lot of uh, other tasks along with that. So uh, for those of you who are not from the programming side, uh, an API is an application protocol interface. So it's a way for one application to talk to another. Just like humans have user interfaces, applications have APIs. And REST is a type of API uh, which is use using HTTP. So now uh, I'll just show you how that looks like. So if there are multiple clients, so in this case, they have represented clients as uh, human figures, but usually it's either people or people using uh, an app to actually access the API. And REST basically tells you that there are multiple URLs available on a server and you can communicate to it by using HTTP methods. Now, HTTP methods like get, for example, that's what uh, you do when you go to google.com and just hit the search bar. But there are also other HTTP methods like post, put, delete, and even patch. So these can be used to uh, tell the server what you want to do with it. So for example, something like get will be used to get all the users. And in this case, new user. Post will be used to create a new user. And patch will be used to update them in place. Uh, but we usually don't use patch for this. We use something called put. And that will be usually used to update. Now, uh, the OpenAir REST API, uh, again, I have this open. I have an instance of EHR base running. Uh, EHR base is the open source implementation of OpenAir that we'll be using in uh, our course. And it's running right now live at this URL, ehrbase.course.voiceintern.com. Uh, you will have an access to an EHR base server as well. Uh, and from your server URL, what you're supposed to do is you just type EHR base slash swagger hyphen UI dot HTML and you will get this uh, page called a Swagger UI page. Now this is actually according to another specification called Open API. Uh, it basically describes how APIs uh, are built so you can easily document it immediately. So this is technically documentation, but this page can also be used to test out some APIs. So for example, uh, let's see, let me go to the ADL uh, 1.4 template. So this is the template API and just like the template that you created in the last module. So there is a API to list all the templates. And as expected, it's a get request. So anything like um, retrieving something back or listing something back, they use a get request according to REST. And uh, to upload a template, you use a post request, uh, very standard. But let's just click on try it out and you execute this. So this will actually talk to the EHR base server and it will return a list of templates back to you. And you have all of these are all the templates that are currently there on the server. Um, this is just a primer on what APIs are and how you can use them. There are specialized tools like Postman or Insomnia that can do this better. And uh, we'll be actually taking a look at those tools and how to use those tools to interact with the uh, uh, OpenAir REST API. Uh, but as for this video, uh, just understand that there are these components that are important to understand. For example, you have something like uh, EHR, you have something like composition and template. We already saw what uh, this is, but it also uh, helps to draw a parallel to the paper world and to draw a parallel to the old world where we use paper and pen to record things. So I also want to talk a little bit about that. So an EHR, an open EHR is like a file that belongs to a patient. Uh, now this file, interestingly, in OpenAir, does not have any identifiable information about the patient. It has all the clinical content, but just by looking at this file, you cannot tell which patient it belongs to. And this is by design so that uh, people can access the clinical records of a patient without actually identifying who this is about. Uh, and that's how OpenAir has designed it. So this EHR, it's unique for a patient and each patient will have one EHR object. Uh, now again, we'll go back to the REST API and actually see how we can do that. Uh, but that's an EHR. Now a template, what you, you created one in the last module and we even saw all the templates that are there in the current server. But to draw a parallel to the paper world, a template is like a specification for a form. 
so it's not the form itself it's a specification for how uh, the form should be built so in this case you can assume that a template is more like an empty form like the master copy of that empty form and you don't write anything here you don't draw anything here this is just what all things should be recorded uh, for the clinical purpose so that's a template and you again made some um, templates using archetypes and you just put them together and you get an opt file that's all the technical bits of it but that's what a template is it's a specification on what data should be captured now then you have something called compositions now compositions are kind of what you would assume when you actually write the data so for example this is the same template we've taken and we've actually put in data here and there are multiple compositions that you can have for each template and the, all of these compositions you then write uh, you start recording data and then you put it back inside the ehr right you again need to put it back inside the patient's file so th these three are the three main components of open air and if you understand them and if you understand how to work with these apis first i think uh, it will go a long way in understanding the re rest of open air faster so we'll only take a look at the ehr api the template api and the composition api in more detail Thank you for watching. This video was part of the open air course that's available on the Medblocks e-learning platform. I believe that the best way to learn a topic is to actually do it yourself and learn by doing it. So we have a lot of tasks for you in the course that we'll help you do along with more video content just like this. And if you're interested in that, please do check it down in the link below. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.